Hi guys, so I wanted to make this video to show you how to fix the holes on your shoes. These shoes I use them to play tennis, so I tend to drag my, my right foot when I serve. So after like using these shoes for like three months, I noticed the tip was getting uh, worn out. And then after like, uh, before six months, like after five months, I noticed they, they already have a, a hole on the shoes. I've been playing with them for about a year. So I was in, uh, I had the, these shoes had the six months uh, warranty, uh, but I was a little bit too busy to, to, you know, pack the shoes and then mail them to Nike, send the email. So I decided to, to buy a, after six months, I decided to buy a plastic gun from Walmart. They're about five to ten dollars. So what you just do is like warm up the, the glue the plastic uh, glue. I'm sure a lot of tennis players have this uh, problem on their shoes. So once once it starts leaking and you start putting the the plastic glue on the on the shoe, in this case on the tip of the of the shoe, then you start like molding it with a. I use a plastic knife, you know the ones that you get from McDonald's. I also seen some guys doing doing it with an ice cube. I don't know why, for what reason they do it with an ice cube. Maybe it won't stick. But uh, you can use either one. So it gets it gets pretty sticky. But you know you try to make a flat or like kind of like do the, the same shape as the as the shoe. It won't stay the same. It won't be the same to be honest with you. But it's a lot of it helps a lot. It's a lot better than having the the hole on your shoe. After you're done with it, you know it dries pretty fast. Then you go out and play and uh, after a couple, I would say after like 10 minutes, then it starts shaking the, the tip of the shoe by itself once, once you're playing. Once it's, it's, uh, the glue is dry, when you step, it might feel a little bit uh, different, but after like 10 minutes, then it will shape again to the normal, to a comfortable, uh, feel when you step on the shoe. If you use these shoes a lot like I do to play tennis, then you're gonna have to be doing touch-ups like every three weeks, once a month, you tend to drag your toes, the tip of your shoe, then it's gonna still also be, uh, be, be getting worn out. So I highly recommend the glue gun. It's uh, a lot better than a crazy glue because I, I seen some guys using a crazy glue for like skateboarding for the band shoes. It's about three dollars for a crazy glue. This plastic one is about ten dollars at Walmart. So I think for the price, I think it's a better value. The plastic, I guess, mixed with glue, so it's a better value for the price for five, seven dollars different. Thank you.